Hello my beautiful friends, this is Kaspersky Security Channel and I'm gonna show you how to install the Kaspersky Security Center uh, in a proper way. Um, I have my VM here set up and you just want to make sure that SQL Server is already installed. Here I have Microsoft SQL Server 2017, it's already installed, uh, don't bother with the Portuguese here. I'm in Brazil. I'm Brazilian working from here. This is the full package. You download this from the Kaspersky security. I'm sorry, from the Kaspersky official website. It is very easy to find. You just uh, like Kaspersky security center download. You should find product download page um, here this is in Portuguese but I'm gonna show if you're in another country I'm gonna show you that you just get rid of these two letters here and the dot and this is the global page now I have Kaspersky Security Center and I'm gonna download the full package. Right now this is vo version 4 14 um, and this is the this is only available I think in English and Russian. Yep, if I go to Portuguese here it is 13.2 still. I'm not gonna install the version 14 right now because I'm gonna make another video about updating it. So, this is my installation file. It is not available on the website uh, because it's 13.2 version and it is not available anymore. Uh, just the 14th version. Um, this is gonna be very simple, actually. If you have your SQL Server installed, you just gotta follow the wizard and there are some extra steps after the installation that I'm going to explain to you. Okay. Okay, I confirm. Yes, you can install on clusters if you want to. I'm not going to do this right now. Don't even have the option. Standard installation. I'm going to install just the MMC based console because web console will require some extra stuff that I don't have here. This is a simpler uh, installation when you choose MMC based console only. Oh, and, and there's another reason why I'm not doing this. Uh, if you get any kind of error, even in the web console installation alone, it can damage your whole installation, the whole uh, admin server installation. That's why uh, I always use just the MMC based console. Now you have the option to use MySQL. There are some other DBs on uh, that you can select MariaDB, but here I'm gonna select Microsoft one. And you gotta click browse and select the instance of your database. Okay just this one and next um, I want to go by Microsoft Windows authentication mode this is this means that I have to use my credentials from the Windows and if I'm already logged in it will automatically log into the server as well so this will take a while and of course I am going to cut to the next step Okay, the installation is finished and now when I click finish, I should see a progress bar that will take a lot of time if your system is as slow as this VM is. Of course, again, I'm going to cut to the next step. Uh, it seems like it's starting now. Okay, if you see this message after your installation about the issued certificate, this means that probably everything went well. So you click yes here and the console will open in one or two minutes. Finally, finally, it is open. 
Okay, uh, the Quick Start Wizard will install some important uh, components to your Kaspersky Security Center. So the installation is not over right now. Uh, you just click Next and I don't want to use a proxy server and don't want to activate right now also I'll activate later now you're gonna choose if you're going to uh, use mobile devices just workstations just uh, file servers uh, virtualization everything that is that is in here uh, usually if you're going to use uh, Kaspersky security for Windows Server you're gonna click this right here but you don't have to do it actually because uh, since the version 11.8 of Kaspersky Endpoint Security, uh, the Endpoint Security itself is ready to protect servers. So you don't have to install Kaspersky Security for Windows Server. Just go with Kaspersky Endpoint Security for everything and you'll be fine. Okay, I'm just installing the basics here, workstations, Microsoft Windows. Uh, what this will do is uh, this will install the management plugin for the Windows uh, version of the Kaspersky Endpoint Security and also will download the distribution package for Kaspersky Endpoint Security 11.10. Uh, you make sure that you're going to install just your language, uh, the plugins, the distribution package, because I have seen uh, one customer install accidentally the plugin for the German version and he got a lot of work to get it removed after work. You can filter just English and that's it. Uh, the endpoint agent is for hydro functions. I'm gonna leave it checked. And that's it. The plugins uh, install very quickly. Um, even if you have to install extra plugins afterwards, it is just these quick installations. Okay, it is completed. Uh, there's one more thing I have to do. This is uh, the encryption type for the distribution package. I'm gonna go with strong encryption and here it is the distribution package for the endpoint agent and the distribution package for endpoint security again make sure you choose the right language here now when this download reaches 85% I gotta agree to the terms it will not complete downloading unless I click that I agree to the terms. 85 already. And I should click accept. And accept everything. No. Okay, here it is. 85%. Now I have to accept the license agreement. Um, okay, accept all and that's it okay the installation package is created now i'm gonna click next agree to ksn uh, for those who don't know kaspersky, kaspersky security network it is like a live database for your virus definitions and stuff so you don't have you don't necessarily have to update your own database all the time if you're connected to ksn they will uh, detect the last viruses. Now that most of this is set up, it just creates uh, your tasks, your essential policy policies, and starts downloading the last database updates. You can ignore this, just click advanced, click advanced again, and that's it. Uh, if you want to, you can run the protection deployment wizard to deploy to the other machines in your park. Uh, but this is not something I'm going to do now. This video purpose is just to show you how to get this stuff working. And that's it. Now you have a fully functional 
Kaspersky Security Center server. Um, okay, my friends, thank you for watching this video. This is the full installation of the Kaspersky Security Center. And this is everything that I'm going to upload to this channel. These are all different issues that I've written down. It's the most common issues that the Kaspersky business customers complain about. And we are going to resolve everything right here in this channel. So subscribe and you might save some time and money just by watching our videos, okay? Thank you, and I'll see you in the next time.